Hello chess lovers, Stolen here and in today's video I want to share with you a game played between Georgian woman grandmaster Nino Gurielli and the 5th women's world chess champion Nona Gaprindashvili. This game is from their 1980 women's world championship candidates match. But before starting the game let me tell you that despite the title, this game has nothing to do with Gaprindashvili vs Netflix scandal. With this being said now we can go through the game. With this being said now we can go through the game. So Gurielli is on the white side and she opened up with d4 to which Gaprindashvili answered with d5, c4. The good old queen's gambit is on the board and we see that black is rejecting the gambit hit pawn. Queen's gambit declined, three knights variation is on the board against which black is choosing the so called Ragozin defense. Here white has a wide range of options, can play c takes d5, bishop g5, queen a4 check, e3, in the game we see a3, which is considered to be a less popular alternative. An exchange of minor pieces on c3 followed, d takes c4, queen a4 check, knight c6, bishop g5. In return we have queen d5. At the cost of allowing white to damage her kingside pawn structure, black is managing to stick to this pawn on c4 and save it. Queen goes back on c2 because already there could be a discovered attack and f5 not allowing any e4 moves. Bishop g2, knight a5. Understanding that soon a discovered attack can follow Black is freeing the c6 square for the bishop, but anyways, uh, knight h4 fallout. Anyways, white attacked black queen. Uh, let me tell you that, of course, at this point, you won't go for castling queenside. Knight e5 is just winning on the spot. That's why after castling, we see bishop c6 and knight h4. Queen goes back on d7, after which we see an exchange of bishops on c7. And now it was in here that Gurielli made a very interesting decision. Please pause the video and try to find her next move. Ready? Well look, black king is one move away from castling. And if black can castle already, seems like that black can solve all the problems. Then for example black can put the knight on b3, which can be a problem for white. Uh, that's why in here Gurielli made an interesting decision and she played d5, a pawn sacrifice with the help of which she's managing to open up the d file. Of course, uh, you want capture on d5 with the pawn and leave the pawn on f5 unprotected. That's why we have queen takes d5 and rook a d1, queen e4, queen d2, and now already. White queen is ready to intrude inside opponent's camp and there followed queen d7 check. King f8, knight f3, h6, knight g5 was the threat, right? That's why we see h6 and the pawn on c7 dropped. King g7 and there follows rook d7. Rook f8 and the pawn on b7 also dropped. So d5 was really a strong move and it allowed white to create huge problems for black. Queen c7, rook b1. So far so good, despite the fact that white had an initiative black was holding, but that rook b1 is a mistake. Better was playing rook c8. If rook f7 check, then king g6, and if here, then rook b8. If check, then king h5. Of course, finding this continuation over the board is extremely difficult, but yeah, this is what the engine suggests, and uh, by repeating the moves, you can even force a draw. Instead, we have rook b1, and now let's see what's the problem with it. An exchange of rooks on b1 followed, king g2. And now suddenly it turns out that uh, the knight on c6 has no safe squares to retreat. In case of queen b6, you can just play a4, and yeah, even an exchange of queens won't give you anything. The end game seems to be hopeless. After king g2, we see queen e4 and rook d6, attacking black knight. Knight b8, but 
With that move, black left the pawn on a7 unprotected, which immediately white won. Rook c8, rook b6, all the way white is chasing black knight. Knight c6, and after queen b7, finally resignation followed. Yeah, black is going to suffer heavy losses. At least black is going to lose a piece, that's why at this point resignation followed. So this is it, dear chess lovers, hope that you enjoyed this game. This time we saw only a pawn sacrifice, but that was something which I hope that you enjoyed greatly. The move allowed white to exploit the weakness of the d-file and intrude inside opponent's camp. In the end, the chess puzzle for you, where the task is to find the mating line for white. As usual, we'll wait for your answer in the comment section. Thanks for watching, we'll see you in my next video.